everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. This is not PhD related, but my life. I'm here to do a quick update on the elephant in the room, which is my hair. I no longer have locks. I picked out my locks over the last couple of weeks and now I'm a loose natural for the first time in the last nine years. Yes, I took out my locks after nine years. And in this video, I'm just gonna tell you how I did that. The tips that I would give to anybody who's considering taking them out because trust me, you should really consider if this is what you want to do, as well as how I'm liking the process so far and you know the results. So if you're interested, stick around. But I must say sorry to anybody who is offended by me taking out my locks. I I love locks as well, hence I kept one. <laughs> but change is necessary and I just felt like you know it was time to try something new. So let's get into the video. And if you do like it, give it a thumbs up and keep watching and comment down below. Let me know if you like the new look, if you think I look better with locks, however, you know, I don't feel offended. You have your opinion. First question is, why Courtney? Why did you take out your locks? Okay, well, as I mentioned, I've had locks for nine years. And when I started my locks, the intention was to start my locks because one, I was going to go away to study. And my mom always said, oh, well... Initially, when I wanted to do my undergrad, I wanted to go to the UK and my mom had heard that it was really expensive to maintain natural hair abroad. So I was like, okay, I'll put in locks. This was when I was my first year of community college. So that would be sixth form, as some, some countries say. And, um, and another aspect was putting in locks to grow my hair. So when it came to thinking about taking out my locks, it was never a question of cutting them because one, my head is huge. I don't know if you can see that, but I think my head is really huge. So cutting or cutting really short wasn't an option for me. Funny thing is, I've had the urge, I've had the itch to pick them out for quite a while. Occasionally it would come and go. So the first lock I picked out was in 2013. It was right at the back. I picked out two, 2013, between 2013 and 2015. And it was just it was just because I think I was bored and procrastinating from studying for my undergrad. But I kept the locks and they eventually grew really long. I would take out this one to show you, but I have it pinned up because some people think it looks weird, but just to go with this style for the moment. So that period I took out the first two. And then in 2016, at the end towards the end of my first master's program, while my first year in the UK, I felt like oh I should stop retwisting. And I stopped retwisting for a while and I was thinking about taking them out. But that was 2016 and I just finished in the beginning of 2020. So you know, that it lasted for a while, it came, it went. And even when I started my YouTube channel in 2017, the objective or one of the goals or ideas for the channel was I was transitioning and I'm gonna show you how I keep my hair moisturized and healthy for the transition to loose natural hair. And within that period, there were bursts of, oh my God, I really love my locks. I'm not gonna cut them, I'm not gonna take them out. Um, and then now we're here. In the beginning, I, I remember at the end of 2017, uh, early 2018, I picked out, I think, of two in the front. And the first one I picked out, I had a panic attack. Oh, actually, in 2016, I tried that in the summer. And I had a panic attack. I was like, no, no. And that's when I knew it was not time yet. And then I tried again in the beginning, end of 2017, beginning 2018. And I kind of felt the same way. So I took out two, just the two hair. And... I just stopped because I was just actually no I didn't take out two there in the front I took out two three in the back and they were really long if I have pictures I'll show you what it was back then and I got excited but then the love I had for my locks really it really surpassed the need to have loose natural hair so 2018 2018 went by and then last year December I actually started taking out a lot so I took out the front all of December last year and I don't know why I didn't continue I think I was still quite attached to my locks and one of the things that was stopping me was the length I really loved having long hair and so on the days that I would feel like I want to cut my locks out I mean pick my locks out take my locks out once I let them down, there would be a moment that I let them down and I see them on my back and I'm like, oh, oh my God, why am I going to cut this? Am I going to go from long hair to the shrinkage life and all that? So that was, that was one of the deterrent uh, barriers to me actually, you know, following through with going to this new journey. But this year, 
it happened in oh, 2019 it happened and I felt like I had already detached myself from my locks because it got to the point where I didn't really feel anything when I had to pick them out and it got to the point the process was so painstaking you know, I even got to the point where I actually cut the locks <laughs> um, in half because to pick out all was a waste of time and I didn't feel any way when I cut them in half although I kind of wish I was brave enough to cut it all off and feel that you know that weight lift off of your head so that takes me into one of the first questions that I've been getting is does my head feel lighter I don't really know because because I pick out the locks over like a week and a half well the front in 20 sets 18 and then the rest of it over a week and a half I guess my head just adjusted as time went along so that's one that's one question I've been getting but the next one is how did you actually do it and I will in, I'm gonna insert some videos from 2018 and from this time uh, where I put I soaked the hair in conditioner and water and I picked it up with a rat tail comb that's essentially what it is now my warning to anybody who's gonna do this it's gonna take time you can't necessarily rush it because you might damage whatever hair is left and you're just gonna need to load up as much movies episodes whatever I caught up on the flash arrow run the runaways I watched a, a season and a half of Queen of the South which that recommendation was great because I really love that show now uh, so I watched over it could say about a hundred episodes while picking up my locks over a week please I hope my supervisor doesn't hear that and think I didn't do it I wasted my vacation um, but I was picking up my hair now the caution that I would say is oh god the process is dreadful there were moments when I was just like I just want to be finished and I, I had a bit of help now and again but a lot of the time I did it myself and I was just over it man like after the, after the first five days I was just like oh I can't do this anymore I don't want to have to do this anymore because it, it was just I had stuff to do I had other stuff to do and it was just taking my time but I eventually got got it out and this is how I felt when I got it all out and I had my first wash day, which I think I will eventually put as a separate video that you can see and my excitement and just a little vlog around, around that. Um, but my tip, so let's just talk about one of the tips that I would say to people plan to take out their, pick out their comb out their locks. If you're planning to comb out your locks, obviously you always hear they say grow out the roots for a bit. Um, that I would advise, but I would also advise that you at least do a cleanser, a cleansing, a soak before combing out the locks. The reason I say that is because one, a lot of the knots that you will get in the lock is build up and those knots would eventually pull the hair off because some of the times when I take out the lock you just feel that gunk ball and that will just rip off the rest of the hair that's below. And then secondly, Although I was, I was allowing my roots to grow out, the root was actually the hardest part to pick out because that's a new, new, the, the newest set of you know, entanglement and it was so difficult. And then because it's the root, you have to take so much time because once you bust up the, everything else you try to save below is gonna go. So by doing like an ACV rinse or the bentonite clay mask to dry it out and then um, the whole process of getting that dirt off your hair, which I have a video about, that would help to essentially um, cleanse the lock and get rid of those little bumps or um, build up spots and help you through the process so another thing so as I mentioned one of the other things that I noticed was how hard it was to get through the root section that new growth area that 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 bit that was just starting to bud that was really hard to get through and so so be very careful there so one of the things that really happened is as I mentioned this process is long but you're gonna lose a lot of hair and this is a bag of <laughs> wet hair that I've been saving just to do this video but it smells bad because it's wet hair from conditioner but this is the hair that came out of my head if it was dry I think it would be more puffy and um, this is all the hair that came out and when I said I I cut off some of the locks to in order to just save time and energy so I have some of my locks here in a bag that I'm going to save because 
because I'm kind of creepy like that, but the other ones I will throw away. Um, so it's it's a lot of hair, it's a very, very dirty process. So please prepare yourself for what you're getting into. It's a dirty process, I was there with a towel, hair was all over the floor, and I'm a person, I don't like hair off the body. So it was, it, it you know, it really got overwhelming and exhausting, and I was fed up of it all before it, right, like, as I neared the end. So prepare for that, set up yourself, have a space that you can do this in, and, you know, have something to entertain you and try to get somebody to help you because then you'll go faster but otherwise i'm happy with the progress so far i the length of the hair length is okay this is from the top the size on middle is a bit longer i have some proper videos pictures um and yeah I think how am i feeling with my natural hair right now so i'm not gonna lie to you after my first wash and then I did, a, I put them in two strand twist, I wasn't feeling it. I was just like, why, this is a big mistake. I told my mother that. And then the next day, I did a twist out and I loved it. I'm gonna insert a video here, a picture here or something. And I absolutely loved it. And then yesterday, a day before I tried to do a wash and go, I, it looked nice when it was wet, but it was I did it late in the afternoon, so it didn't really dry. And, well, I'm not sure I like it that much, but it looks decent when I pull it back this way. What do you think? Tell me. Anyway, so that's how I feel about it so far. Obviously, it's gonna take a dent in my bank account as compared to my locks, but I am hopeful, I am excited about the journey, and I'm, I'm loving it so far. I think overall, I'm happy. I hope you like it, I like it. And good luck if you're planning to comb out your locks. And if you're on your lock journey, please embrace it. It's one of the best things I've ever done. The patience, you know, finding yourself, it does teach you a lot. So um, enjoy whatever journey you're on and thank you for checking out my video. And thank you for, uh, what am I going on? And thank you for checking out my video. So again, thank you for kicking it with me. I really love my locks. I would, I think I would eventually go back one day. But right now, I'm loving my natural hair. So let me know if you like the new update, if you like the new look, and if there's anything you'd like me to talk about again, and I'll be happy to do so. Thanks for watching, and you can catch the video of my first wash day, as well as other things on my channel. Um, just click one of these videos here, subscribe down below, and, and I'm just gonna keep sharing my journeys with you. So bye, thank you, and have a great evening, day, morning, whenever you're watching this video.